Hello, my name is Rafael Espinosa. I'm from Costa Rica, and when I want to present Virtual Community of Practice, COP, Experience for the Development of Open Educational Resources. This is a collaborative academic work and learning through community of practice. Uh, this is a strategy for articulation and collaboration and exchange between institutions, teachers, or scholars who decide to associate a joint effort experiences and knowledge to achieve the common goal that is to produce OER. This experience across 23 countries involves people from different cultural backgrounds, racial identities, language, locations, and continents. Our epistemological framework. Um, this is very important where we are producing knowledge construction and is social view of learning, social view of collaboration, understanding is socially constructed. This is a very important framework to support in order to work across cultures. I have to tell you that in this experience, uh, we had uh, professors, scholars from America, from European countries, from Africa, and we collaborate in this learning community for doing research and the main outcome was to produce a research that impact the different stakeholders in our countries. By the way, uh, we were doing and I am doing too right now uh, during COVID time, COVID-19, COVID uh, something important that is working with families. Uh, as you can see and you can read, we have 23 different institutions. Can you imagine 23 working together uh, in order to produce a really important research project uh, concerning to knowing the engagement of the families in all these countries. Something important over here is that doing research online as a learning community, I believe that in order to produce knowledge, and not only for publications, I believe that nowadays we can get together, no matter where you are, to produce books, to produce guidelines for curriculum development across culture, which is a really add value when we are working in our universities. Something important is the mentoring time. Why it is important? Because sometimes when we had a open source, a book, uh, we pay attention to the outcome, to the book, but what is behind the production of that book, of that journal. This mentoring time across cultures is very add value. And I really had to tell you that it's very interesting when you as a scholars from K through 12, from K to the higher education, you get involved even with your students. I believe that we can get impact in our academic communities. Uh, concerning about tools, I have to tell you that, well, this is not that I am doing propaganda, but I have to tell you that uh, in this case, we use uh, open free sources as uh, far as we can do that even though some universities, they had their own license and things like those, I have to tell you that it was a open free because uh, we had privilege. Sometimes some uh, scholars, they don't have the source for working in community of practice. Uh, we come up with this open source, with this open data article, survey data, on the impact of COVID-19 on parental engagement across 23 countries. I have to tell you that it was very interesting to work in this thing, uh, to produce the different uh, data, to understand, for example, in my case, the Costa Rican uh, parent engagement. Um, finally, over here, we had the data in brief that was the open access journal uh, that we finally produce to the different communities 
to understand what's going on in those days uh, concerning to parental engagement during COVID time, which is for me and for all the team very important. Uh, methodological route, how can we do this? Uh, it is important that you go to the different international programs, like international collaboration that you had in your universities, government agencies, uh, to find out with which countries or universities you had agreements. That is a very important keyword. Uh, why? Because in that way, not only for accreditation purposes, it is very interesting how can you add value to your curriculum and even to work with your students to work internationally with faculty and with stakeholders in different topics. Believe me, it's an add value and not only for accreditation purposes, just as a learning experience. The software and technology tools available, there are many, but I don't pay attention honestly sometimes to the technology. The most important is the human contact that we can have, the, the collaboration that we, we, we have, the interaction that is very important, and also, as I said before, the mentoring process. Um, I have to tell you that I'm very happy to be with you. Thank you so much for, atten for your attention. Welcome to Costa Rica. Welcome to contact me for any collaboration with international here in America, in Central America, South America, and in Latin America. Uh, I will be happy to, to help you to contact different faculties for exchange programs, for working in this uh, because I believe that in these global times, it is important this kind of collaboration among scholars. This is my contact for all of you, uh, and I'm going to be happy to, to, to answer any email, to answer any question that you have if you want to know more about that. Thank you very much.